A dead tooth is a tooth that doesn't have a live nerve in it. So when you have a nerve that's alive in the tooth, you can feel hot, cold, pressure, sensitivity in the tooth. There's two ways that you can have a dead tooth. Either you have the tooth removed, um, if the tooth has had root canal treatment, or the tooth can, um, the nerve in the tooth can die off slowly over a period of time. Um, so perhaps if you have a trauma to the tooth or if there's a decay in the tooth and the nerve is dead within the tooth. The tooth can essentially stay in your mouth for quite some time depending on um, the actual individual tooth. Sometimes if the tooth hasn't been treated or there's decay in the tooth or the nerve is still in the tooth, then that tooth may need root canal treatment or if it's left untreated, it can develop an abscess or a cyst on the tooth. It can become painful or you may notice an infection around the tooth. The tooth itself can become discolored or mobile as well. Eventually it may end up falling out. You may end up sort of the infection eating away at the actual root surface of the tooth. So it may shorten and then fall out or you may end up with problems with the tooth. Really it is sort of individual um, to each person. If you do have any problems with a tooth or you notice there's any discoloration of a tooth like that, please do go and visit your dentist so that they can take an x-ray of the tooth and uh, discover what's the matter with it and give you a treatment plan. Ways that you can traumatize a tooth for the nerve to become dead may be sort of a blow to the tooth um, or things such as if you sort of bite your nails or hold hard things in your tooth and a repeated trauma to the tooth can cause it. Having gum disease um, or advanced form of gum disease called periodontal disease and if you develop a pocket that's quite deep that goes to the root of the tooth that can also cause nerve death um, via something called a perioendo lesion. Otherwise, a dead tooth can be one that you've already had root canal treated previously and it can start to discolour over time. There may be further treatment that is needed. Sometimes with a tooth that's discoloured, if it's already root canal treated, it may need internal whitening um, to bring it up to the right colour or it may need a further procedure such as crown or a veneer over the tooth to help to strengthen it. If you have a root canal treatment, depending on your individual circumstance, it may help you to hang on to that tooth for a little bit longer. If the tooth has got good root on it and good bone support, then removing the nerve of the tooth and treating it um, may make it safe so that tooth lasts for a long, lot longer in your mouth. It's difficult to tell you how long it takes for a specific tooth to die. It can happen over a short period of time or it can happen very slowly over a long period of time. A dead tooth can fall, fall out on its own. Um, if a dead tooth is left untreated, they may uh, you may develop an abscess or an infection on that tooth. The root itself can resorb and over a period of time where there's not enough support left around the tooth, it may become loose. If there is a particular tooth that is dead or it's got an infection or it's loose, it may affect the teeth around it, especially if there is an infection that's long-standing. The infection can spread to the neighboring teeth and the roots on those teeth and affect them. If a tooth is loose, then it can affect the gums around the teeth and those neighboring teeth as well. So if you do have this problem, please do go and see your dentist.